Hello! Good morning. Finally live. We've been having some technical difficulties because this is our very first time doing this. Um, so this is an all-levels yoga class, uh, vinyasa yoga, and Sky and I are here this morning in the studio. And, um, <laughs> and you can follow along with us. You have the option to amp it up at any time or to tone it down. And... Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I taught a class and flowed along with you all, so um, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and I miss all of you here in the studio being actually physically present. So roll out your mat, um, grab some water, maybe grab a towel. It's heated in here, so it's hot. Maybe crank up your heat in the house. And let's get started. We're going to start in child's pose. Start there. And when you're here in child's pose, just take several deep breaths in and out. And just notice how your body feels. Notice how your body feels here in child's pose. And notice what your body needs. And what your body needs is exactly perfect. I want you to take three more deep breaths. Ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. into a tabletop position on your hands and your knees. Spread out your fingers really wide. Look up, cow pose. Cat as you exhale. Cow. Cat. Three more. Cow. going. You can add any organic movement from side to side. That would feel good. You can wag your tail. You can roll your shoulders around, roll your neck around. And then on your next exhale in cat pose, push into child's pose once again. On your inhale, reach your right arm forward, come into tabletop, sweep up to the ceiling, breathe in. Back by your heels as you exhale. Rest in child's here. Inhale, arm forward, tabletop. Sweep up to the ceiling, back and around as you exhale. Two more rounds. Inhale forward, look up, stretch up, press back, drop back. Last time. Now we're gonna go the other way. Same arm, just reach back and up. Forward, down. Back and around. Up and forward and down. You're resting in child's pose. One more time. Back. Up. Down. Other side. Reach forward. Up. Back and down. Three more. Now you rest here, reach backwards and up, forward and down. Keep going. One more. 
more time. Tabletop, breathe in. Bring your knees about hip width distance apart. You're gonna extend your left leg backwards and reach your right arm forward. Really long in your body and send your vertebrae up to the ceiling. Really dorsiflex your back foot so ball of your back foot presses to the back of the room and then pull your toes towards your face at the same time. Take a big breath in, reach around, catch a bind, hand to ankle, and then draw this energy upwards. Squeeze your belly, lift your heart. One more inhale here. Slowly unravel, reach forward and back, and come all the way down. Take a big breath in, lion's breath. Other side, go up. When you feel ready, reach around and touch your bind. Send it upwards. One more in. Unravel slowly. You're gonna look up in cow pose. Downward facing dog is your exhale. A couple breaths this morning. Here and down dog. Take some time to pedal at your feet. Mm. Just you bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Reach your right leg high. Bend your top knee. Stack your hips. Breathe here. Knee is high, heel is pulled in towards your bum, belly is suctioned to your spine. Take another breath in, pull your knee to your nose, curl forward, step into low lunge, reach your right arm up, breathe in, sweep it down, exhale. Sweep up, breathe in, sweep down, breathe out. Just one more time, sweep up and come into high plank. You can 100% do high plank on your knees, okay? And at any point in time you want to skip our little flow we're about to do, you're welcome to go straight to down dog. Shift forward. You can drop to your knees here, lower down chaturanga, or skip it. Up dog is your breath in. Oh, cobra. Or cobra. Down dog is your breath out. Couple breaths. I want you to really notice how your body feels. Bring your feet together, lift your left leg high. Bend your top knee. Feel your hips stack. Really press your heart towards your toes and lift your hips high, squeeze your belly. Take another breath in. Knee to your nose, curl. Step the lunge. Left arm goes high. Breathe in. Drop down. Breathe out. Up. Inhale. Down as you exhale. One more time. Up. High plank. Shift forward. Low plank. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Three breaths. Come up on your tippy toes, breathe in. Bend your knees and look forward where you want your feet to go. Tippy toe all the way there. Ragdoll pose. Clasp your hands at your low back. Squeeze your shoulders together on your back. Drop your head down. You can push your knuckles away if you want to. 
Or if you can grab onto opposite elbows, make a box around your head. I like to spend some time in both positions personally. And just stay. Stay with the rhythm of your breath. I'm already sweating, y'all. This is <laughs> gonna be a fun rest of the class. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward fold as you exhale. Now sweep all the way up, really high. Pull your hands to your heart. Just take a moment, a true moment in connection. And set your intention here. Just amidst all of the chaos, just all of the craziness that's been happening around us. Find the calm, find the center within yourself, that calm center. And gently squeeze your belly to your spine, lift your heart, take a big breath in, empty out. Sweep your arms up, breathe in. Take a little cactus bend as you exhale. Push your hips forward. Reach up, inhale. Forward fold. Half lift. Forward fold. Rise all the way up. Cactus bend. Reach up. Forward fold. Half lift. Step back high plank to low plank. You can take chaturanga or you can skip it. Go to down dog. Catch a back bend in between if you're taking the float. Downward facing dog as your exhale. Big breath in. Blow it out. Come up on your tippy toes. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees. Look forward, big jump or step forward. Lift halfway, forward fold, engage your belly. Sweep up, breathe in. Cactus bend. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga or down dog. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high. Hug your knee to your nose. Step into warrior one, lightly. No elephant stopping. Reach up on your inhale. Now grab onto opposite elbows with your hands and send your forearms up to the ceiling. You're gonna feel yourself get long in your ribs. Bend into your front knee. Suction your belly up to your heart. Breathe here. Three more breaths. One more breath in. Stay and breathe out. Reach up, inhale. Warrior two as you exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Soften your shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more full breath in, bend into your front knee, send it over to the right, reverse warrior. You can reach straight up or you can start to reach backwards, up to you. Keep breathing. One more inhale, flow to down dog, follow your breath all the way there. You can amp it up and take a three-legged chaturanga if you want. Meet in down dog. Huge breath in, haw it out. <sighs> You're at home, so nobody is gonna judge you, or if they are, you can tell them to go away. <laughs> Reach your left leg high, knee to your nose, warrior one. Reach up. Grab opposite elbows once again, opposite forearm in front and send this energy upwards. Everything's funneling to the midline of your body while you reach up.
Take another big inhale. Stay on the exhale. Push your knee to the left. Keep it there. Breathe in. Reach your arms high. Warrior two. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in. Spin through the pinky edge of your back foot as you exhale. And take one more in and out right here. Now reverse. Strong back leg. Bend into your front knee and squeeze your belly. Take one more inhale here. Flow to downward facing dog. Lots of options. Follow what is gonna work best for you this morning. Meet in down dog for three breaths or child's pose. One more big inhale. Empty out, look forward, jump or step. Half lift, fold down, bend your knees, chair pose, reach up. Stay here and breathe. You can cactus bend your elbows. You can have your hands at your low back. Just squeeze your elbows on your back. Or you can reach your arms up like Sky's doing. Breathe here. Sink your hips a little lower. Really funnel, keep sinking. Take another inhale, lift your heart. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Chaturanga Dandasana. If you're taking the flow, up dog is your inhale. Down dog is your exhale. Lift your right leg high. Knee to nose. Warrior one. Rise up, breathe in. Warrior two, open. Reverse warrior. Flow to down dog. You can take Chaturanga. Or just step back to down dog, up to you. Breath in. Breath out. Left leg lifts. Knee to nose. Warrior one. Rise up. Warrior two, empty. Reverse. Breathe in. Flow to down dog. Whole exhale to take you to down dog or chaturanga and receive a breath in. Back bend if you're taking the flow. Down dog. Rest here. Feet together. Lift your right leg high, bend your top knee, hip stack. Okay, stay here. Or flip your dog. You can go to flip dog. Slow and steady. Breathe where you are. Two to look to the front of your mat, high plank. Shift into high plank. Spin your heels to the right. Lift your left arm high, side plank. You can drop the knee down for gate pose. Lift your top leg in a tree. Push your hips away. Away from your bottom wrist. Take another inhale. Chaturanga with tree legs, maybe. I'm gonna be up dog with tree legs, I don't know. Down dog. Big inhale. Empty out. Lift your right leg. Step into crescent lunge. Rise up as you breathe in. Hands to your heart. Lift your heart, inhale. Ha uh, airplane pose, pop up into it. Lift your back leg high. Slowly bend your bottom knee, crescent lunge. Arms sweep up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Side angle pose. Go for a bind, half or full. Two more breaths. Rotate your heart up to the ceiling. Get empty. Take another breath in. Look down. Forward fold. Back foot forward. Lift halfway here. Forward fold. 
Chair pose, reach up. Hands to heart. Okay, take a big breath in. We're gonna twist to the right. Really, it doesn't matter which way you twist. We're gonna do both sides eventually. Sink your weight into your heels. Pump your heart up. Roll your top shoulder on your back. Let's breathe here for five, four, three, two, hips low, heart high. One more big breath in. Forward fold, split your feet apart. Hook your first toes around, uh, first two fingers around your big toes. If you're like me, you can feel all the sweat just pouring down to the crown of your head. Just let it all be there. Let your breath be there. Okay, you can take crow pose, plant your hands down. All right, take your knees wide into your armpits. Lean forward. If you're like, nah, I'm not crowing this morning, then take a malasana squat, okay? Heels low, heart high. Either one. Breathe here for three, two, one. Plant your palms, spring back. Chaturanga or down dog. Up dog if you're taking the flow. Down dog is your exhale. All right, lift your left leg high. Bend your top knee, hip step. Stay or flip over. Heart high, press your thigh bones up to the ceiling if you're flipping. If you're in three-legged dog, squeeze your belly. Okay, look forward, flip over high plank, spin your heels to the left, reach your right limbs high. Top leg can go into tree legs, just for a challenge, for fun. Breathe, you got it. Okay, another breath in. Chaturanga with tree legs, maybe. Woo! Up dog with tree legs, maybe. Down dog. Left leg lifts high. Step. Crescent lunge. Rise up, inhale. Hands to your heart. Pull your heart forward. Airplane, pop your back leg high. Breathe here. Crescent lunge, reach up. Warrior two. Take a reverse. Side angle pose. Light toes, try not to grip with your toes, but rather send the weight into the ball of your big toe, and pinky toe mounds, and your heels. Now bind, wrap your top arm around your back. Three breaths. Take one more breath in. Look down, forward fold, back foot steps up. Lift halfway, fold. Sweep all the way up. Chair pose. Pull your hands to your heart, take a breath in. Twist the other way. Bend into your left knee and pull your right hip crease back in space. Take another inhale. Sink a little deeper. Good, breath in, fold. Any forward fold that would feel good this morning. Just really suction your belly to your spine and allow yourself to, to roll forward like you're going to somersault. Release your fingers, lift halfway, fold down, fly all the way up, hands to your heart. Pull your left knee up into your chest. 
without using your hands, maybe. Engage your abdomen. Airplane pose. You feel your bottom foot kind of dance for you. It's being strengthened. Crescent lunge, reach up. Hands to your heart. I'm gonna take a big breath in. Twist to the right. You can hook your elbow to the outer edge of your knee or lay your forearm across your quads. Come up high onto the, your back foot, into the ball of your back foot. You can open your arms up or stay with your hands in a prayer. A couple more breaths. I want you to take another breath in. Get empty. Warrior two. Stay, breathe out. Reverse it, breathe in. Half moon, back foot propels you up and down. Left limbs are high, right limbs are low. Send your top heel up to the ceiling, kick the ceiling. Switch arms. You feel your hips square off. Stay with your bottom leg. I know it's kind of catching on fire. It's all right. Let it burn up. Slowly pull yourself back up. Knee into your nose. Exactly how you started. Mountain pose. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Sweep your arms high. Hands to your heart, right knee to your chest. Airplane, slow and steady, just because you know where we're going doesn't mean there's any rush. Crescent lunge, sweep your arms high, slow down your breath, hands to your heart. Lofty inhale, twist to the left. Breathe here. Press your back thigh up to the ceiling. Take another inhale. I want you to get empty here. Warrior two, spin open. Stay, breathe out. Reverse it, inhale. Half moon. Top fingers reach up, top foot reaches up really high. Feel your bottom foot dance for you. Belly engages. Switch arms. Feel this rotation in your hip flexors. Use your standing leg to press yourself up to stand. Back knee comes up into your chest. Mountain pose. Huge inhale. Let it go. Sweep your arms up. Hands to your heart. Lift your left foot to tree pose. Left foot is on the inside of your standing leg. And I want you to press your standing leg, your hip, your right hip down. Feel your ribs lift when you, feel your ribs lift when you do this. You can grow your branches in any direction that you see fit today. High, low, in the center. Maybe you go asymmetric. Take another breath in. Mountain pose. Inhale. Rinse out. Switch sides. Just above, above or below your knee is cool with your lifted foot on your standing leg, and you want to fuse them together. So press the bottom of your right foot into your standing leg, and then press your standing leg into your foot. And you can grow in any direction on this side that you see fit. It might be different than the other side. Good. 
take another inhale. Slowly step out, mountain pose. Take a loving breath in and let it go. All right, sweep your arms up. Dancer's pose. Grab the inside of your right foot. Knees start together in line with each other, then send your heel up to the ceiling. Your arm that's extended is reaching. And I can already feel myself start to dance a little bit, so you might feel the same thing. Three more breaths. Switch sides. Keep breathing. Three more. Mountain pose. Huge inhale. Ha, ah, ha, ah, it out. Do it again. Ah, arms high. Fold down. Half lift, long heart, chaturanga, maybe. Or you can step back to down dog. Lift your right leg high on an inhale. Step to warrior one. Open warrior two. Now thread your fingers behind your back. Heart up, knuckles down. Humble warrior. You wanna bow to the inside of your front quad. Your shoulder is just to the inside, okay? It's not really um, on top at all. Keep sinking low. Bend into your front knee. From right here, drop your hands, lizard lunge. Front foot moves way out to the right, drop your back knee down. Fingers and toes are in line with each other. Lift your heart. And I can see that some of you are commenting on the live feed and um, I'll be sure to reply after class. It's kind of hard to do both right now. So we're gonna take about four more breaths right here in lizard lunge. You can splay your front ankle to the outer edge. Knee kind of splays out to the edge as well, to the right side of the room. You can drop down to your forearms if you want. Okay, walk yourself up if you're down. Front foot to the middle of your mat, half splits. Heart pulls forward, hips press backwards. Squeeze your belly to your spine. And you can walk your fingers forward if you want, or if you have blocks at home, or even like, I'm thinking like soup cans or something, or books are perfect to put your arms up on here. Bring the floor up to you. I like to point and flex my front foot. I kind of sometimes like to wag my hips from side to side. All right, let's bump up to pyramid pose now. Back foot bumps up, stagger your feet, shorten your stance. Kind of as if you were standing on uh, railroad tracks. And you can bow. Sometimes I stay more lifted. Again, this is a great opportunity to have a chair you can put a chair in front of you, put your hands on the chair. <clears throat> okay, now walk your hands around to the left. Take your feet really wide into a wide-legged forward fold. Drop your head down. Rest here for a few breaths.
<clears throat> okay, walk around to the back of your mat. Turn your, your back toes to the back of the room for triangle pose. So bottom arm is down, left arm is down, right arm goes high. Squeeze your belly up, heart pulls away from your hips, and then just imagine your femur bones, your big thigh bones, we're fusing together up into one central point, like a triangle. I feel a big opening on this top side body, as well as this bottom side body. It lengthens forward. You can reach your bottom arm forward. Take another big breath in, look down. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Fold down. Sweep all the way up. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Optional chaturanga. Up dog is your inhale. Down dog is your exhale. Lift your left leg high. Step forward. Warrior one, reach up. Warrior two. Now thread your fingers behind your back, the opposite connection of your knuckles. Fingers down, heart up. Okay, and then we're gonna bow, humble warrior. The key here is to drop your head. Sink your hips to your front heel and drop your head, humble. What have you been holding on to? Time to let it go, right here in this pose. Let's take one more breath in. Really sink low, let it all go. And drop into lizard lunge. You breathing here in lizard lunge? Feels really good. <laughs> front knee can splay out to the left front ankle can splay out to the left you can drop to your forearms if you want to okay or again if you have pillows at home or books I'm really sweaty so I don't know if I would be using a book at home so <laughs> you guys can be the judge of that <laughs> um, but you want to like just give this as a gift to yourself right here this humbling hip opener because it is a gift. All right, moving to half splits, slowly. Heel toe your front foot to the middle of your mat. We do this because then you square off your hips. And then you can straighten your front leg. If you like to go full splits, don't let me stop you, go for it, okay? You can also, um, you can sink your hips down to your back heel if that would feel good to you. I know some teachers are yay or nay on this. I think it feels good. If it doesn't feel good to you, don't do it. That's really my only rule here. And I, I like, you can see, um, if you can see what Skye's doing, she's got her hip on a block in splits. So that's another really great way to practice splits. And you can do that with a blanket. Just anything that's more firm, it's gonna help support your body weight. When you're ready, slowly bump up to pyramid pose. You're bowing over your legs. You can bend into one or both knees. Send the energy into your heels as much as you can. And I have never been a runner or anything like that. So I have like super open hamstrings, almost a curse. So I like to like really bend my knees a lot. Because sometimes like too open is not good. If you feel like you have, you're blessed with really tight hamstrings, you definitely want to bend your knees. Ease into the micro tears, okay? There's no rush. No rush to straighten your legs. You have your whole lifetime if you're practicing consistently. You have your whole life. All right, walk around wide-legged forward fold. Once again, if you like to headstand, great, go for the headstand. I see you all. <laughs> okay, um, otherwise, you can bend into one knee, take a skandasana pose from side to side, that's fine. Shifting back and forth. Got some headstand. I'm gonna flip around so you all aren't looking at my booty so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just about three more breaths to explore on your own. You can see skies and headstand. If you, um, are interested in learning more about headstand, I'll be posting a little, another live thing about that in the next coming week or so, how to practice safely. Now we're gonna come into triangle pose at the top 
the mat. So your right foot will be forward, your left leg will be backwards. Your left arm is gonna reach up. Breathe here. I want you to take another breath in. Forward fold, top of the mat. Lift halfway. Step back to high plank. Shift forward, slowly lower down. Five, four, three, two, 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 one. Relax. <sighs> Rest here for a moment. You deserve it. <sighs> you have one cheek to the mat, flip your cheek. I see some heart buttons going off. Y'all were ready for this, huh? <laughs> Okay, let's set up for um, locust pose, Salabhasana. And here, you can reach your arms forward, you can reach your arms backwards, you can interlace your hands behind your back, up to you. Lift your heart, lift your legs, lift everything off the ground. And breathe here. Keep lifting each inhale, find a little bit more lift. Your exhale, stay. Come up a little higher, now come down. If you can lift everything off the ground, including your pelvic bowl, free yoga for the rest of your life here. <laughs> okay? You can do locust again, or bend your knees, floor bow. Grab onto your ankles. I personally think floor bow is easier because I have something to hold on to. I have leg energy here. So, <clears throat> roll your shoulders on your back, squeeze your elbows together, lift your heart, and kick your shins. Kick your shins to the back of the room. If you're in locust, lift up for five, four, three. Come up a little higher. Two, one, come down. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Set yourself up. Sphinx pose. It's like cobra on your forearms. <sighs> Slide your shoulder heads down your back. Lift your heart. I want you to tuck your toes from here. Engage your belly. We're going into forearm plank. Oh yeah. To dolphin pose. Just this transition. Okay. You're in dolphin pose. Bring your feet together. You can just hold dolphin pose. If you're like, holy cow, dolphin pose. Or you can lift your right leg high. Hold here, breathe. Come up on your bottom tippy toes. Maybe you tippy toe forward a little bit. Breathe here. Maybe you kick up. About three to five kick ups if you're kicking up. Maybe you find a little hang time. Hmm. Child's pose. You can get happy about this, okay? Strength in the morning. You're saving this video for later. Strength in the afternoon. Strength in the evening, strength any time of day. As long as you have your breath, you guys. You have got to breathe through this. Okay, let's do it again. Come in a dolphin pose. You don't tell your feet till you hit that point. You're like, okay, dolphin, hello. Then lift your left leg high. You can stay, you can kick up. Up to you. Meet in, child's pose, and it's prep for a forearm balance, okay? Have fun with it. It's supposed to be fun and playful. When I first started doing dolphin pose, <laughs> I swear I called it flopping fish pose. It was so challenging. It was so mentally exhausting so you gotta let go of that ego let go of that mind stuff and just breathe and feel your body as you move on your mat okay here we go camel pose come up to your knees in camel pose reach your arms up i want you to ball your hands into fists okay and then take these fists to your low back 
Squeeze your elbows on your back like you're going to marry your elbows together on your back. Push your hips forward. Send your heart to the ceiling. Engage your belly. I like to tuck my toes. And you can send my hands or just one hand to a heel. One arm up if I want. If you want. Keep in mind like you're at home in room temperature. You might not be as warm. It might take longer time for you to warm up than we are here in this studio because it is warm in here. Okay, so again, don't compare yourself to any other human on the internet or in life. Come out in child's pose. Just be yourself and be with yourself. And that's the beauty of it. I know I've spent a lot of my life comparing, and I still do. I can compare how I raise my kid to other people. I compare how I practice yoga to other people, how I eat to other people. You kind of just be yourself, because here's the thing, nobody else is you. Nobody else has your body. You gotta love your body. Appreciate yourself. Appreciate your hands, appreciate your feet. Everything you touch, everything you do, every step that you take. It seems really, um, when I say this out loud, it seems really like woo-woo, kind of like hippy-dippy, but really, it's true. It's that simple. That is the key to happiness, y'all. Just being with yourself. Flip over onto your back. Be with yourself as you move in a bridge pose. Okay, we're gonna do three back bends on our back, so you can do bridge. If you have a block at home, you're welcome to slide a block under your hips and do supported bridge. Okay, or again, some kind of surface area. A blanket is nice, right? A pillow is nice. Go on up, bridge pose. Tuck your shoulders underneath you. Send your thigh bones up. Press your triceps down. This is all leg energy. One more in. Come down, one vertebrae at a time. Take your time coming down. Not all the time in the world, right? <laughs> there isn't anything else going on. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Knock your knees from side to side. Mm. Okay, set up for wheel. If you can do wheel, full back bend. If you can, you must. All right. Speaking to myself, mostly. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, uh, Go up, bridge your wheel. Here we go. Five breaths. Legs. Leg energy. If you're in wheel, grip with your fingers. If you're in bridge, lighten your toes. Use your next exhale. Come down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go up again. Here we go. Ten breaths. Don't stay too long. The floor gets sticky. Go up. Just honor system breath, okay? Friday morning breath. Breathe it. Bring your knees together. Take a twist to the left. Just an easy twist. Look opposite of your knees. Switch sides. OK, 
Okay, nice and slow. Pull your knees back to center. I need you to press your feet up to the ceiling. You can sit on your hands or have your hands by your sides. I oftentimes take my hands behind my head for more of a challenge, which is what I'm gonna do right now, okay? You can decide what you wanna do. We're gonna lower our legs down slowly, one third of the way, and just hold right there. You've been homeschooling your kids at home, okay? Real math, one third, more, <laughs> going down, okay? Two inches, just hanging out, two inches off the ground. I like to tap my heels on the ground and then lift up, so I actually am like, holy cow, that is two inches right there. Now come up a third. Another third. All the way up. Okay, lower down a third. A third. Two inches. Flutter kick. Woo, five, four, three, two, one. Come up a third. Another third. All the way up. Knees into your chest. Rock and roll. That's kind of back part. My favorite. Okay, we're going into boat pose. Pop up. I like to grab onto the backs of my knees. Okay, and that way you don't see your body. Make your back into a C. You want to pop your heart up and lift your heart. Collarbones are broad. You can press your, sh your shins or your feet and straighten your legs. Five. Four, stay with it, you got it. Three, two, one. Cross your ankles, plant your hands, and lift your hips. Boat pose. Cross opposite ankles, feet down, hips lift. Press into your hands. Okay, one more time. Cross your ankles this time. Press down, step or jump back into down dog or chaturanga. Hmm. Lift your right leg high. Half pigeon pose. Right knee is towards your right wrist. And you can work your right ankle towards your left wrist. The more, um, the more that your knee, your front knee is at a 90 degree angle, the deeper this becomes. So regulate this accordingly for your body. You can also, and this is what I'm about to do, you can slide your back knee forward so you're in this accordion position and then bow forward here, okay? Body to take five more deep breaths. Rise up slowly, lift your heart. Feel a little standing back bend or a little seated back bend. And then switch sides. You can step back to down dog. I'm just gonna flip my legs around as I am, okay? With this accordion fold. Kind of nursing an injury in my right hip area. So just giving myself what I need. I hope you do the same thing as you bow forward. Five more breaths in and out of your nose, slow and steady.
You're gonna rise up slowly. Seated back bend, just a little lift to your heart. All right, both legs out in front of you, seated forward fold, arms reach high, bow over your legs. You can bend your knees. I definitely recommend bending your knees even if, though my legs look like they're straight. There is a bend there, okay? So you could even bend a lot. Heart lifts. You can grab onto your feet and rest here. And slowly, you feel like your legs are opening up. You can start to straighten your legs out. Okay, from right here, I want you to rise up and roll onto your back for waterfall or shoulder stand. Just checking out our time here. Hmm. So you have about, um, let's take anywhere from five to seven more breaths here in our inversion. So I'm just taking waterfall. I don't have a block or anything, so just hands on my, under my tailbone, so hips are slightly elevated. You can see, if you can see Sky over here, I don't know, I'm probably blocking her, but she's in death man's pose, so if you go into shoulder stand, kick your shoulders up above your, or your hips up above your shoulders. You can go into plow, toes over your head, or deaf man's pose, knees by your ears. I like to take this pose right here. I heard a teacher call it pancake pose once and it really resonated with me. So you can take pancake pose if you want. And then from here, slow and steady, you're gonna roll all the way out and into Savasana, corpse pose, your final meditation. Okay, if you have um, a towel or something to put over your eyes, do that. Cover your eyes up so that you don't have any kind of distraction. You don't have any kind of light peeking in. It's just you. And from the outside looking in, it would seem as if you would go to sleep and take a little nap at the end of class. But really what's happening is you are becoming still, right? You're consciously becoming still. You are consciously slowing down. And just watch. Watch all work and movement disappear from your body. It's like after a heavy rain and the sun comes out and evaporates all the water off the sidewalk. You can physically see that difference from darker, wetter cement to lighter, drier cement. And you just want to become really light really aired out of all work and movement, both physically and mentally. And whoever you are, wherever you are, if you're watching this, slow down now. Even if you're just sitting in a chair or if you've taken practice with us and you're lying where you are, just slow down your thoughts and watch them. Watch them as if they were clouds in the sky and you were relaxing in the tall grass on a warm summer's day. You are not your thoughts. You are not your anxiety or fear. What you are is a being of love. We all are. So 
allow yourself to travel into the space in your body where love resides. Wherever that may be. Go there. Rest there. Wherever you are, take a really deep breath in and let it go. Awaken slowly. Take a big stretch up and down your mat if you want to, or if you're seated, or wherever you are. Just take a big stretch. Take a big breath in and curl onto your side. Call forth your intention once again. And rise up to a seated position. <sighs> Hands can come to your heart. And we're going to end with a chant of Om today. And Om is, it releases the same endorphins as when you sing in the shower or when you sing in the car. The sound is ah, ooh, mm. And it represents the creation, evolution, and dissolution of thoughts, of life, of everything. So take a big breath in and just let it go. Prepare to own. for everybody for joining um stay updated for more live classes and i'll also be sending this out via email later today so you can always have this with you and um yeah i hope you all have a great rest of your day i know we had some comments during class so let's just see Okay, I'm seeing some questions. Is there a schedule for when you'll be doing these live? I so join. Yes, there is a schedule. Um, it's a skeleton schedule. Uh, we sent it out via email. I will also post it on the Yoga Gypsy page. And you know what? I think I could probably... Um, I actually cannot put it in the comments, but I will post that. Um, let's see what else. Came across this while watching and just enjoyed watching mental practice. Yes, you can totally, Shelly, you can totally view this later. Um, and if you want to be added to our um, newsletter email list, shoot me or Yoga Gypsy a message with your email and I'll add you so you can get it. Um, doing, doing exercise time. Awesome, Tammy. And let's see. Thanks, D and Sky. Yeah. Hey, Allie. Yeah, girl. I'm so glad. I knew you'd be at home doing this with us. So, okay. Love all of you. Thanks for playing along and um, have a great day. Mwah.